Inverse Optimal Control Lecture Number One. I'm your instructor Yasser Amir Khan, and I welcome you all to this series of lectures. These lectures are related to Inverse Optimal Control, and uh, I'm very positive that uh, you are going to gain a lot of information, knowledge, understanding related to Inverse Optimal Control through these lectures. So please do subscribe my channel and uh, if you find these lectures useful, uh, please uh, like my lectures and uh, click the bell icon as well. I'm your instructor Yasser Amir Khan and I welcome you again. Let's start. Today's lecture is about control Lyapunov function and uh, small control property and uh, for this the reference book that I would recommend is Nonlinear Control Systems by Professor Ezidori and you can find get this book and uh, you can you uh, I'm sure uh, you will find this book very very useful and uh, you should have a copy of this book with you and uh, go through it through the relevant topics and then go through the lectures and after lectures read the topics thoroughly that are covered in these lectures. We will first talk about the uh, control Lyapunov function and uh, for that consider the system shown here in this equation. The derivative of the state variable x equals to the function f of x and g of x plus, uh, times u u is our control signal let us see let us take uh, u equal to psi of x this is our stabilizing control and so that uh, when this control is psi of x is applied the origin of the system is asymptotically stable Now, if it is, it is that, uh, if it is uh, so, that is the origin of the system is asymptotically st stable, then by converse Lyapunov theorem, there exists a function v of x such that the derivative of v of x, which turns out to be uh, this equation inequality shown over here, in, in, in inequality a, is negative definite for all x not equal to 0 in a domain around x equals to 0. Now if the origin is globally asymptotically stable then Vx would be radially unbounded and the above equation holds globally otherwise it would hold locally. If you are not understanding this thing I would recommend that you should refer to Professor Khalil's book on uh, nonlinear systems and nonlinear control to get an idea of what is what we are talking about over here. Now here let's uh, have the formal definition of a uh, control Lyapunov function. A continuously differentiable positive definite function v of x is said to be control Lyapunov function CLF for the system that we are considering that is uh, rewritten here if it has the property that the partial derivative of v with respect to x times the function g of x equals to 0 implies that means that the other part uh, of that inequality that is the partial derivative of v with respect to x times f of x is negative definite and that's true for all x not equal to 0 and in some domain around the origin x equals to 0. So this is the, the, this is the uh, basic property of uh, the control Lyapunov functions. Now the question arises how we can find the control Lyapunov function. If uh, the answer is that if we know any stabilizing control for a given system with a corresponding uh, Lyapunov function then that, Lyap that Lyapunov function is actually the control Lyapunov function. So finding the control Lyapunov function is very easy. Any, you know, you have a system, you design some control with it, and that is, uh, with that control, as, there's a Lyapunov function associated with it on the basis of which you have proved the stability of the that control. Then you can use that uh, uh, Lyapunov function as a control Lyapunov function. It must be satisfying the above. 
Now let us talk about the small control property. We note that psi of x, our control psi of x is continuous and we also note that uh, the psi of x for x equal to 0 is 0 then it must be true that for any given positive uh, number epsilon greater than 0 there exists a function of epsilon delta which is also positive such that if x is not equal to 0 and x satisfies uh, that it is uh, within the region bounded by delta then there is some control u which is uh, bounded by the positive epsilon such that the Lyapunov function uh, derivative of the Lyapunov function given by this inequality is negative definite. Small control property in the nutshell is simply that your control signal is bounded. Your control signal is smaller than a, a positive number epsilon and uh, it is such that the states of the system are bounded. They are within a bound in this case the bound we are calling that bound delta and delta is a function of epsilon epsilon is the bound over the control so the now this control Lyapunov function clf is said to satisfy the some small control property if for each epsilon uh, epsilon is a positive number there exists delta which is also greater than zero such that if x is not equal to 0 then the states are bounded uh, within delta they are less than delta and then there is some control signal that is u which is uh, bounded by epsilon so that the Lyapunov function v its derivative is negative definite in the nutshell uh, what uh, I've just said is that the control Lyapunov function satisfies the con small control property when uh, there exists epsilon, there exists delta, both are positive, and uh, the epsilon is the bound over the control, and the control is said to be small, smaller than some uh, number epsilon, and that control gives us the state variables which remain within a bound, that is delta in this case and uh, the system uh, is overall is stable that is the derivative of the Lyapunov function is negative definite the in other words the energy of the system uh, decreases with the passage of time and uh, does not increase and the states uh, do not become unbounded so uh, in uh, in this way we say that the control Lyapunov function uh, satisfies the small control property now actually what we are doing is that we are slowly building the uh, 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 building up moving towards the actual thing that will come in the next coming slides and the lectures so we have just talked about the small control property and uh, previously we defined the control Lyapunov functions now let's move forward now uh, the condition for a system to be stabilizable now our system which is given over here in this equation which is it, it is the same system that uh, we have considered earlier in the in this lecture uh, it is stabilizable if and only if it has a control Lyapunov function v of x the uh, Lyapunov function is a control Lyapunov function and we have defined how a control Lyapunov function uh, a Lyapunov function becomes control Lyapunov function and that the control Lyapunov function satisfies the small control property if that, that is so then the system is stabilizable now these conditions are necessary and sufficient we will talk about in the next slide Now it can be shown that these conditions are uh, necessary and sufficient for existence of a continuous uh, stabilizing state feedback control. So you can refer to the uh, textbook where you can find the proof. And uh, when these conditions are, when, when these two conditions are fulfilled, then we, we can have a continuous stabilizing state feedback control. 
Particularly, one such control can be obtained by using Sontex formula, which is very useful. It is given over here that psi of x uh, equals to 0 if uh, the um, partial derivative of v with respect to x times g equals to 0 and it is equal to this function, then it is, and then the partial derivative of v with respect to x times g is not equal to 0. Now, please refer to the book for this that it can be shown that psi of x is a continuous everywhere as well as at the origin x equals to 0 and if f and g functions are smooth then psi of x is all is smooth for x not equal to 0 now let's uh, talk about the stability of the uh, inverse optimal control which is obtained by which can be obtained by the Sontex formula. Now, li like I've just said that uh, you can uh, refer to the book for the proof. It can be shown that the psi of x is continuous everywhere as well as at the origin x, x equal to 0 and if f o and g functions are smooth then psi is also a smooth function at uh, x not equal to 0. Now, the derivative of the Lyapunov function is given by this equation. If uh, the part of the this uh, equation, the part that the partial derivative of p with respect to x times g of x e turns out to be 0, is equal to 0, um, then the remaining part, which is the partial derivative of uh, v with respect to x times f, so f of x is negative definite when x is not equal to 0. Uh, but when uh, the g part, that is the partial derivative of v with respect to x times g is not equal to 0, in that case, the uh, derivative of uh, the Lyapunov function v turns out to be given here, over here. If you open the bracket, this is from the Sontex formula. Uh, we have basically used the control law, uh, of which is obtained from Sontex formula uh, over here. And then we open the bracket, we get this thing. So, uh, the, the square root is uh, positive and then there is a negative sign, sign outside it uh, which clearly makes uh, v, the derivative of v negative definite. So therefore we can say that uh, the derivative of v is negative definite for all x not equal to 0. This means that with this control law which is obtained by Sontex formula the system is asymptotically stable. This completes our proof. Now let's consider an example uh, where uh, we will design a small uh, control. Uh, small by, by small me I mean a, a simple control by using the concept of uh, inverse optimal control. Uh, we will in the upcoming lectures we will talk about this in more detail. It's just you know. Uh, as a uh, initial example we are talking about this we have a system which is given over here it's a nonlinear system and uh, we only have we have just one state variable x and use our control in this case uh, the function f of x is x square and g is equals to 1 now we can find uh, a feedback linearization uh, control we have uh, not shown over here. We are not talking about discussing it right now. You can refer to any good book such as that of uh, Professor Khalil. You can find a lot of details in there how this is done. Perhaps in our uh, uh, upcoming lecture we can talk about it. Now let us say that uh, there is a Lyapunov function which is associated with some stabilizing control and therefore uh, the Lyapunov function which is half x square is a uh, control Lyapunov function and uh, <clears throat> excuse me if that is so then we find the uh, partial derivative of v with respect to x times g which turns out to be x then we find partial derivative of v with respect to x times f and that turns out to be x cube then we use the Sontex formula and we get this uh, control this is our inverse optimal control. So in this uh, way, in a very you know 
in a very by a very simple mm, procedure that is a very extremely useful procedure this Sontag formula we can uh, design an inverse optimal control for this uh, the prerequisite is that there must be a control Lyapunov function and the control Lyapunov function requirement is that it must follow the small control property now this concludes our today's lecture please uh, don't forget to like the lecture if you really find it this uh, interesting uh, important and useful and uh, also click the bell icon and uh, if uh, you find this channel useful then please don't forget to subscribe our channel and appreciate it and then we have you have the email address this is my email address you can write to me uh, if you need any clarification regarding this lecture or any other particular topic related to control systems. Thank you.